In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import time activities from text, Excel or IIF files into QuickBooks Online using Access Online. So to start off, let's just have a look at what we're importing into. So if you select the single time activity in QuickBooks Online, it'll bring up this particular form. So what you'll notice is there's uh, an area where you can enter the employee or vendor name. You can import a cost rate, whether they're being paid at regular pay, overtime pay, or salary, as well as the individual um, um, particular job or customer that the work is being completed for, as well as including the location, the class, the time, and whether it's billable and a billable rate. So there's quite a lot of information that be, can be captured on a time activity. And depending on what you bring into these fields will determine how it's used within QuickBooks Online. The project center, you'll see here, we've got one of the projects set up, which is for Balmain Builders, which is the Rancho Reno. So if we open that, we can, using Access Online, batch import time activities specifically against this project and have hours, billable hours added to that. So it can add to the overall cost of the project and can calculate um, the margin and the job costing details, as well as flow into the project profitability reports and so on. Equally, um, we can use the hours that we're entering to be used as billable hours. So we can, um, Mark, we can actually go ahead and build those hours onto a particular customer for the work that's completed on behalf of our employees or our contractors. And we can also use those hours when it comes to processing payroll. So if we enter hours against a uh, employee who's paid based on an hour, then we can use those hours that we've entered on the timesheet to flow into the actual payslip of that project, of that employee. So you can see here, we would be able to import hours at regular pay um, or overtime pay directly onto their pay, payroll or payslip. So with those two things in mind, let's now go through the process of using Access Online to import these timesheets or time activities into QuickBooks Online. So first off, I'm going to log into Access Online and connect to my QuickBooks company file. So to begin, we're going to create a new AX and an AX is a way to tell Access how that information should be imported into your QuickBooks online company file. So we'll give it a name. Then we're gonna to browse to the file that contains the time activities that we want to upload. So this is a sample file that contains in a text format that contains time activities. And once I browse to it, I can click save and it's uploaded into my Access application. So once the file is uploaded, you'll see the name of the file along with how many rows displayed here. So the next step is to select the event or what type of action is happening and what we expect to, to occur. So this is, we're gonna be uploading a file. We want a time activity to be created in QuickBooks. Then we're gonna go through a process of mapping the columns in the upload file to the corresponding field in QuickBooks. So we know that this is the transaction date. We need to map that to the date column in QuickBooks. So we're gonna map in the name, the name of. What you'll notice is those fields marked with an exclamation mark here are mandatory. So we need to make sure that we have correctly selected those. We're gonna select the customer ref. Now this is gonna be in the structure of the customer name, 
followed by a colon, and then the name of the job. So that's the job that I showed you earlier, the Rancho Reno. So we know that we're going to be importing these time activities and will be assigned to that particular customer. Now there are a number of other fields that can be imported, such as department and the item. Let's map in that there, as well as class and so on. We're going to map in the payroll item because we want these also to be flow through to payroll. If it's not flow through to payroll, then we don't need to map that field, as well as the billable status for these particular rows. We're going to put in the um, duration. And we're going to put in the hourly rate. So any fields that or columns that we don't necessarily have in QuickBooks, we also have the option to select a constant if we like. So we can type in a value into any of these boxes here, and that will apply to all the entries in that import file. So once we've completed the mapping, we can see what fields we have mapped, and we can see a preview of what data will be brought in on those fields. We're going to click Save Mapping, so that is then can be reused on the subsequent time we import into QuickBooks, and we'll click Next. And you'll see a preview of all of the data and the fields that have been mapped, so we can go through and review those if we need to. Now we can edit them if we need to add in some extra detail. We can do that within this area here and click yes. Finally, after we've reviewed them, we can click we can click on the import to QuickBooks button. Access will validate the data and then begin a process of importing that directly into your QuickBooks online company file. And you can see here, all the time activities have been successfully imported into QuickBooks Online. And if we like, we can view an individual time entry by clicking on the View button, and it will take us to that exact time activity so we can see what we've imported and how it's been imported. We can review the project and the relevant costings and time entries that we've entered into that. So you can now here see there's been some hourly time costs have been added in against that project and we can see the profitability as well as this will flow through to the um, billable time as well as payroll. So that's very simply how you use Axis to import time activities from spreadsheets text files or IIF files in batch directly into your QuickBooks online company file using Access Online.